Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another part of my how to play rogue This time we're gonna discuss the PvE talents of the rogue There are three possible ways to go if you want a PvE Assassination build, combat build and sub daddy build I am going with assassination build as I like the name for instance I like to be an assassin, feel like an assassin so let's proceed to the talents. The talents are 31, 2 and 8. 31 because you need Vendetta. I'm going with 2 on combat for increased hit chance and the usual in sub daddy. Stealth and these two talents here. As for the glyphs, I'm using Glyph of Mutilate, Glyph of Rupture Glyph of Vendetta. I am not focusing on the smaller ones. I only have Glyph of Kick because if you're good at interrupting, it shortens your cooldown by 6 seconds. And that allows you to interrupt a lot more. The gear. Uh, first, you need to cap your expertise at 26 and get at least 9% hit chance. The more the better, but don't focus on this stat. Your main stats on assassination build are haste and agility. Haste because the faster you attack, the more damage you deal with the poisons. And agility, as in every roach build, it gives you attack power, critical chance, overall damage, to say at least. As for the gems, for instance, look at this. I don't have uh, the best gear because I recently started, but um, some gear pieces have very good socket bonuses. Don't go everything like 40 agility flat. For instance, counting my socket bonus in my other gem, the second one, I get 40 agility and 20 critical strike rating instead of just 80 agility overall. Now, the rotation. When you go into stealth, always try to stealth. You open with Garot. Afterwards, you use uh, first you cast Vendetta. Always try to keep Vendetta on on the boss or big targets. Don't use it on ads because ads die pretty fast. Get mutilate. I mean attack with mutilate. Get five points. Uh, use slice and dice, the first execution move. You need to do always. Then continue mutilating the target until you get the next 5 points. Then get Rupture on. You always need to keep Rupture up. That's why you use the Glyph that increases the duration so we have more time to replenish it. Or refresh it. The next thing, you continue using your Mutilate. And your main damaging ability is Envenom. Spam it as much as you can before you refresh your Rupture. Because the Venom not only deals the most damage out of the finishing moves, it refreshes your slice and dice. So if you're good at uh, timing everything, you need on to cast slice and dice only once in your whole battle. Well, I think I have covered all you need to know about the PvE part of the rogue. 